So it was my birthday a few days ago, and um, well, before I start, audio might sound a bit weird because the mic is so far away from me, but it was my birthday a few days ago, and I decided to order a bunch of stuff. I was planning originally on getting a lot of figures I found on Facebook Marketplace, but that was, I didn't pick it because you couldn't exactly pick what figures you wanted in that set to order. You just get whatever they give you. Then I found this cool site called uh, tftoys.ca. I'll leave a link in the description for that site if you're Canadian. They are not sponsored, by the way. Um, if you're Canadian, you should probably check out this store because they have a lot of cool stuff. The reason I say Canadian is because I think they only ship to Canada right now because they're located in Alberta, I think. Alberta, that's on the other side of the country for me. But yeah, I have a box down. It's, it's, it's quite large. It's a big box. It does say Generation Select Sandstorm on it, but that's not what's in here. Cause you know I don't like new generations, even though I did just buy this. So that's coming. But yeah, I'm excited. I had to open the box already just to make sure it wasn't a scam from the site I bought. Um, I, just wanted to, I just took a peek to make sure that the items were actually in here. And they're in here. And I keep checking because the audio is over there. This is exciting. Um, I ordered, they basically sell sealed old figures. And by old, I don't mean like G1 old. I don't think they have any sealed G1 figures that aren't reissues, but they sell things like sealed movie toys from the first movie on to now. They sell old 2010 generations and Unicron trilogy stuff all sealed, which is really nice. You And you don't pay a super exuberant amount, which I was surprised about, which is why I was like, this might be a bit shady. I don't know. So I did some research, checked them out. People have bought from them before and so they were great. So I purchased from them and yeah, I, I saw one of the figures already and I'm super excited to see what's in this box. This was supposed to be here five days from now and it arrived today. Um, so let's take, ooh, okay. Okay, let's just get the, let's get the, oh, it's all sealed, it's so cool. Ah, okay, so the first one on the top is this. Still in its box. That is awesome. It, it even says the the the, 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 pri the price on here. That's not how much I paid for this, but that's awesome. <laughs> that is very cool. This is um Japanese exclusive too, so that's nice. I might not open this. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's cool. This is the uh, Springer, which is a repaint of something. I don't know. That's awesome. Ooh, this was something people in my Discord, which if you aren't part of the Discord, you can check out its link below, told me not to buy because it's terrible, but I still really, really wanted one. I've always wanted one of these. And it's the Revenge of the Fallen Ratchet. This is sealed too. This is awesome. This is really cool. The old, I miss the old packaging. I don't like the new packaging, to be completely honest. I miss the old ways that the deluxes used to come like this in their vehicle mode. Now they just spoil the surprise and they just come shipped in robot form, but I like this more. This is cool. I can't, I, I'm super happy with that. The next deluxe is the one that I wanted the most, which is gonna be weird because I bet you've never heard of this figure. Blaze Master from Revenge of the Fallen. And this is one of those weird boxes that has like the things on the back, like this as opposed to a bio. I don't know why they did this, but yeah, this turns into a news chopper, and I'm look, this is the deluxe I'm looking forward to the most out of this set of figures that I bought because it's just so unique. You, you never see something like this. Um, this will be the first one I'm opening for sure because I, I really want to get into this guy. It looks so cool. Oh, the old collector's club ad. That's cool. And the last deluxe, I bought this simply because I used to have it and I sold it and I kind of regretted it, but I'm probably going to keep this sealed, is Ken and Bumblebee. Again, with that weird with the weird back of the box. But yeah, this is this is cool. This is probably gonna stay sealed because I don't really need to open this, another bumblebee. I just wanted it because I used to have one when I was little. And it, it was it was the one that was clear, so it broke, obviously, clear plastic. Now we get onto the Voyagers. This is a huge box. Okay, so the first one, this is one of the um, mispackages. So back in Hunt for the Decepticons, there was a mispackage of, oh, this is not a sticky note, it's an actual sticker. Of uh, Bone Crusher and Ironhide, and they quickly pulled it from shelves and repackaged it all. This box is thrashed, but it's the mispackage of the Fury of Bone Crusher, but with Starscream and Mudflap, you can't see, Starscream and Mudflap in it. This still has its uh, original tape on it too. So, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this sealed. 
So that's cool. Um, a little mispackage there. The box is not in great shape, but that's fine. I do like the Starscream mold though. So to rectify me not being able to open that, Da, 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 sealed Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. I want this thing more. I wanted this thing more than I wanted this new Studio Series one. So this will be cool to have. Um, I can't wait to crack this guy open. I, these old boxes were so nice. Next, I got a couple Generations figures because I missed out on these, and I really like Thrilling Thirty is my favorite Generations line. So I got Double Dealer uh, because. I know people don't like this mold, but I want one because I never had this mold and these colors look better than Blitzwing. So this is cool. This is neat. I like this. This one. This one was something that I've always wanted and if you've been a, fo a follower of the channel for a while now, you know that I've always wanted one of these. And now I finally have one. This is a sealed world. This is, I'm opening this, but it's, it's sealed. <laughs> this is so cool. This is really cool. I cannot wait to get into this. This is awesome. This is, this is really cool. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. The main event though. Now I bought this because I wanted one figure in this. This is a three pack. The one figure costs, I think it was 70, no $80 to buy off their site or it was 90, $99 for all three of these. So obviously I went for the three pack because I don't own the other two figures either. Now I haven't seen the front. Let me get this off the front here. So you can actually see Soundwave. I haven't seen the front yet. I've only seen the back. I got this for the Fallen. Yeah, he's in the middle. Oh, these look cool. These look so cool. The Fallen's package, and he looks like he has a massive wiener. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> what is it? Is it French? Oh, no, it's just the French is on the side because the English is on the front. This is cool. This is cool. This is the Canadian packaging, too, which is nice. Oh, look, the ad for the old Devastator on the bottom. This is really sweet. I like this a lot. This is sick. I like this. This is also getting open for sure. So, yeah. That's, oh, I'm so happy these are here too. What is this piece of paper? This just tells me exactly what I got. Okay. If you have any questions, please email, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah. The store seems legit. That's awesome. Get this box off my lap. Be gone. <sighs> Gavin's texting me. I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. That is awesome. I will most likely be buying from the store again sometime in the future because I know they're legit. That is really cool. Yeah. The reason why I wanted this the most was because it was so obscure and it was the price of a modern day deluxe. Like that's how much deluxe costs on store shelves and this is a Revenge of the Fallen figure. That is just so cool. That is that is really cool. Bumblebee though. Ah. Let's get him. He's gonna go there. There. That's where Bumblebee goes for now. Springer as well is gonna go probably on that wall. Or I may open it, one of one of the two things. But this is this is cool. This one, oh man, I just I'm so happy with this. this oh, this is awesome. I got those and I also got this box set for my birthday because Amazon, they restocked this. Surprise, distribution at generations was actually quite good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, videos of all of this will be coming out at some point. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>